Good morning. Welcome to Manifest Monday. I'm so grateful to have this opportunity to give you a right now word, to speak a word into your spirit to start your week off. On yesterday, the Lord gave me an amazing word to uh, to minister to the people of God on how important it is for you and I to forgive others, uh, to remove things that hinders our faith from manifesting. In the book of James, he, he talks of of, of even in the body, how that when one is in need, that uh, 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 if they're in need of a coat, we should be able to cover them. If they're in need of food, we should be able to feed them. He talks of now faith being an expression, our uh, action. And, and I, I found that in walking in uh, this word and walking in this amazing faith, there are things that come to hinder you that robs you of your faith. And uh, unforgiveness is one. The Lord highlighted unforgiveness yesterday on how that uh, we are to forgive those, forgive those who have wronged us. Mark says in 11 and, and 25, how Jesus says in Mark 11 and 25, how that uh, we, if we have all against anyone, we should go to them uh, and get it right so that our faith won't be hindered, so that the amazing manifestation of God won't be hindered. So you and I are required to take action to walk in his faith. Faith is much greater than, than, than what you and I see or what we believe in the past. Faith is not a religion. Faith is an action. Faith is being positioned to be used by God in whatever means. I said on yesterday, I believe that the body of Christ should be, uh, 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 we should be the wealthiest institute on earth. I believe that your church in whatever community you, you're in should be the power of your community. We should be the wealthiest in the community. I know some people say, well, uh, salvation is not all about wealth, or faith is not all about wealth. Well, this, what I, this is what I challenge you, and this is what I've always said, that when you're doing ministry or you want to be used at a great level, you don't need things to hinder the moving of God in your life. Come on. So when we've got resources, we can do great ministry. We got resources. Guess what? We can be the very people that describe it uh, uh, where it's necessary. Describe it rather as wealth, describe it wealth, health, information, uh, the word of God, lastly, but not least. But but we should be the descriptors of all those things. So I say to you, if there's any unforgiveness, if there's anything hindering you from walking in this amazing faith, I say to you today, uh, take an assessment so that you can position yourself so that now you can be used in, in, in an amazing time, an amazing season such as this. So I want to say to you today, again, position yourself to walk in covenant. Position yourself to be the very beacon of faith that others need to see in times such as this. So Pastor C and myself, as we always say, walk in covenant. And believe that manifestation is on the way. God bless you.